Hey, it's December again and it's fun time with Christmas Milan and New Year. But this time Milan is going virtual. Hey, I'm Anjana of 1993. The Alumni Association has asked me to make a memorabilia of our school. And Alumni Association President Mr. Anil Kumar, he has made a pre-arrangement for me to visit the school. I know it would be very difficult dealing with the security checking at the MH gate. It's so vividly clear in my memory how in our younger school days at KVP we used to run around anywhere and everywhere around the campus. No gates and no restrictions. Chot laga, bhago MH ko. Here I am. Welcome to our school. A nostalgic feeling for my school which never wears out with time. This atmosphere is quite new to the earlier batches as a new school building was inaugurated only in 1994. I still remember the colonial style office buildings with a vast garden in front maintained by us. KB Pangol was established in 1980 and the first 10th batch passed out in 1984. The first 12th batch passed out in 1990 I believe. As I said, we didn't have an official school building then. The old military barracks were lent to us as classrooms. Classes were in tents and sheds initially. We even used to have classes paid kiniche. I still remember the classes back then, the history classes of Kuripsa. The chalk pieces used to come flying aiming at our heads as we used to snore in his classes, literally snoring. It's not that his classes are not interesting. Unfortunately, our classes used to fall in the sixth period immediately after the lunch. Peeking out during classes to check what's more interesting happening outside was another hobby of many of us. Especially when a school was shifted to a place near Amish Gate, full of scenic beauty. And our school ke beauties bhi kuch kam nahi te, huh? It was indeed an enthralling experience. We used to have a Hanuman temple in our school compound, which is now relocated to a different place. For many of us, the day used to begin with Darshan of Hanumanji. At the end of the day, the flowers and garlands offered to the deity was dumped in the compost pit near the school water tap. Is this the same place where I was studying 40 years back in 1980 when the school started? It's a lot of change. I should give you some preview of my days at school. Then we had six barracks from the army for our classrooms. There was a long walk of around 70 meters to the staff room, a principal's room and the office. On our way from the office to our barracks, the classroom, on the left hand side was our sports block. It's a small room. Then we had the uh, toilet over there uh, around that side itself. On the right side we had a small uh, ground for uh, volleyball we used to play there. But uh, there's a lot of change now. Uh, I wouldn't have imagined that the school would have grown to this uh, size then. Anyway, I'm very happy that uh, now the KV is doing extremely well. Our school is doing extremely well uh, and is uh, one of the best schools in the region. Now this is the new administrative building. Oh look, this is the wall of fame. The names of the doins of KV Pangod are here. It is so interesting to read the names of our former principals. Hey, I can find my best friend Bhagilakshmi's name in the school toppers list. I am now entering the principal's room. We normally do not enter in here during school days. I remember the real dawns of our school being taken to the principal's room. They couldn't even make it to the teacher's room. I am immensely proud to look at the championship trophies we won over the time. This is the activity board. The celebrations and activities in the school have improved commendably. Look at the beautiful pictures. It is so interesting to learn the heights the school has grown from its humble beginning.
This is assembly area. It's a pakka one now. We never had a proper stage or an assembly area for us then. I fondly remember when we successfully pulled a stage for us using mud during our free periods, SUP periods and PT periods. It was a total teamwork with all senior school students joining hands for this. The enjoyment we had during the first assembly session here are beyond words. Our school assembly was a little bit of a problem. In the morning, the school was a little bit of a problem. All the children were standing in the class. And then, they were assembled in the assembly area. The school captain's command was a little bit of a problem. The pratna was a little bit of a problem. The pratna was a little bit of a problem. After that, the talk was a little bit of a problem. प्लेज के लिए तो वन आम डिस्टेंस लेना पड़ता था एंड तब हो जाती थी धक्का मुक्की एंड अ टीचर स्टैंडिंग एट द बैक एंड फ्रंट इज टू रोल देयर आईज वन द टीचर स्टार्ट रोलिंग देयर आईज सारे डिसेंट बच्चे बन जाते थे उसके बाद समूह गान और फिर हमारे ही गार्डन से फूल तोड़कर प्रिंसिपल के हाथों उस दिन बर्थडे सेलिब्रेट करने वाले बच्चों के हाथों में दिया जाता था उसके बाद प्रिंसिपल के स्पीच होते थे या फिर टीचर्स के स्पीच या फिर बच्चों के स्पीच फिर न्यूज हेडलाइंस उसके बाद नेशनल एंथम के साथ हमारा असेंबली खत्म एंड बैक टू द क्लास इन सिंगल फाइल दिस इज द न्यू ब्लॉक फॉर द लिटिल वंस दिस न्यू बिल्डिंग हैज टेकन द प्लेस ऑफ आवर ओल्ड क्लासरूम टेंस एंड द कोको ग्राउंड वी हैड आई कैन फाइंड द न्यू डेवलपमेंट इनिशिएटिव्स टेकन बाय द स्कूल वेरी गुड अ न्यू शटल कोर्ट हैज कम अप एंड द चिल्ड्रंस प्लेग्राउंड टू दिस बिल्डिंग अबाउ स्टैंड्स रिप्लेसिंग आवर ओल्ड वॉलीबॉल कोर्ट Great volleyball players of our school were groomed here. Hey, there should be more for me to explore. I remember the military barracks at the back. These were the classrooms we had. We have a CCA hall here now. The alumni association is provided with a room here, which was earlier a computer room. Those who were here during my time would remember how the first computer came to our school. Mohan sir was a trained teacher for it. We had to enter batch wise after removing our footwear outside, like in a temple. Inside the sanctum was placed the deity, the desktop. I remember being taught to play dash and ball game. It was fun. Hi everybody. The CCA program is a unique program which all Kendra Vidyalayas have. It is a platform for all the students to come up on stage, get over their stage fright. and show their talents i think even me when i look back i got immense and plenty of opportunities in our cca um we had competitions in uh, school like just a minute dam sharats we had group songs songs skits um so many things we have done in that stage in our school and it has helped us all to evolve uh, to get over our stage fright Uh, to come up in groups to do a team work to actually show our talents and also uh, gain confidence i think the cca program which uh, it is uh, a, a regular program which is happening in every kv this is not happening in the other private schools it is not a regular feature so this cca program is very unique and all our students are being molded into the adults that they are going to be and it is not only about your talents or it is not only about a stage for uh, showcasing your talents or overcoming your fright it also gives you a lot of insight and lot of practice about team work confidence um how to show your strengths and how to mask your weaknesses everything comes out through all this so so, so the i think the cca program is definitely helping all the students in kvs uh and so do i remember about kv pango too look at the greenery around it's almost like a forest now most of the trees here are planted by students of the school We used to have planting tree drives like Vanamahol Sava and we used to nurture and treasure our dear plants we planted checking on them during all our free periods 
I vaguely remember us having assembly under a jackfruit tree here. And how can we forget about the lunch break? We used to sit under the trees in groups and share our food. Thinking of how we used to gulp our food so that we can save time for playing during the lunch break was simply awesome. We used to be thankful to the crows and eagles for snatching our food from the lunch boxes. We had a chota sa room for storing PE equipment and yoga mats. And then we had the science labs too. The new labs are in the first and second floors of the new building now. I just want to say that uh, when one first uh, you know saw these lab periods in the timetable it it just brought home the fact that one had grown up that you've become an adult and that was a wonderful feeling because as a child uh, you know grown ups always seem to uh, be really cool and then when you become an adult then you want to become a child again and you know that's how it goes uh, but the labs um, you know the bio the chemistry the physics labs were really amazing um, because that's when one really put uh, what one had learned into practice and that's what made science come to life at least for me it was a beautiful experience uh, especially that you know in physical chemistry when you see all those beautiful colors and you see things changing uh, it it was just wonderful i do remember that uh, you know uh, physics labs is also it was great uh, when you are actually using the tools that one has uh, learned about and uh, and of course um, the lab attendants in uh, in all of them I and mean, they were so helpful and you know um, i think th those were really good memories uh, the bio lab of course the dissection bit um, i don't think i have very fond memories of that to be honest <laughs> because um, i didn't like frogs and rats being dissected um, and it, and now i don't know how i did it but even then it was very uncomfortable it was very painful to do that um but yes i mean uh, you know like giving samples of your saliva and watching all those cells under the microscope for the first time amazing experiences so i'm so grateful that uh we really got to um experience labs in the way that we did in kv pangod education was wonderful the way our teachers were in those days the lab attendants i've mentioned them before um it was just really really nice and i'm really grateful uh, you know to have had a chance to get this wonderful education at kv pankot the new additions of the school buses we didn't have school buses then i remember traveling long distances in city transport to reach the school agar late hua to punishment here i am at a school playground which is the ultimate haven of all kvns what a bliss to watch it now the annual sports day the basketball the football the cricket it's also fresh in my memory i can still hear the loud uproar of girish gopinath and screaming how is that the yells and cheers for our school participating in inter school sports event conducted in our school is still ringing in my ears mind you each one of us were cheerleaders then One of the most vivid memories of my school days is the playground at Kavi Power and probably the time spent during the sports period in the school. I consider myself really, really lucky that I was a student of a school which could boast of such excellent uh, sports infrastructure, facilities, and probably the best uh, physical education teachers. Because of these, we could create good sportsmen as well as great uh, sport team. the teams of uh, cricket football and basketball of kv pangod have gone on to do really well at sub regional regional as well as national level sports uh, plays a very important role in the character development and overall development of a child uh, having joined the armed forces i consider myself lucky that i was exposed to good uh, facilities and good uh, positive things about sports which has uh, helped me in being the person that I am today i am really indebted to the school and the uh, physical education teachers of my time who have molded me into the person that i am and uh, for uh, uh, creating opportunity for us to do the best possible in our field it's euphoric standing here the atmosphere is new but the spirit is still alive i miss you all don't forget to come during the next milan We have lots to do together again.